Welcome to Home Run Depot. Today we'll be discussing the Japanese swing. This is my favorite swing to analyze, so let's get it started. Some of the characteristics of the Japanese swing that you'll notice. The first will be the stance. These players uniformly hold their hands high and out. They have a narrow erect stance, especially in the spine, and they hold the bat pretty vertical. So the spine and the bat will be nearly perpendicular to the ground. They uniformly have a leg kick, and the more amplified the leg kick is, the longer it lasts, the more Japanese the swing will seem. And within the swing, there will be a couple things you notice. The front foot will always land close early, meaning that that front foot will land close before they start to get rotation in the hips. This will cause them to roll over hard on the front ankle. They'll get a lot of momentum to the pull side. They'll get pull side extension. They'll finish low with the hands. And they almost always finish with two hands on the bat. Okay, so the first person that we're going to analyze here is Ichiro Suzuki, the most famous Japanese Major League Baseball player of all time. We got Shohei Itani rivaling that now, but stick with Ichiro for now. The thing you'll notice about his swing is the amount of momentum he gets toward first base in the swing. He was the first person we witnessed start their sprint to first base within their swing and you see how uh, stubborn he is on that front foot being closed this is going to uh, close off the lower body rotation which causes him to then the upper body rotation causes him to fly open and allows him to start that sprint early we got Hideki Matsui another great Japanese player also Yankee great his first swing is in a alumni game great capture but let's get to the end game swing here we see he lands with his front foot closed. He doesn't get as much momentum as Ichiro does, and he's actually a little early on this on this pitch, so he does have to kind of hang in there a little bit longer. And we can get a better angle here. Front foot closed. He does, yeah, the, him having to hang in there a little bit longer kind of throws things off a little bit with the characteristics, but you can see he has a lower finish and just finishes across the body. Shohei Itani coming off an MVP season, and it's really obvious what happens on his front side here. He lands closed, very stubborn and closed, closing off the rotation on the lower body and pulling that ball. He rolls over hard on the front ankle and all the rotation of the body is going to eventually overcome, you know, that closed front foot and cause that front foot to basically step out toward first base or toward the home plate dugout. And this even gets, this gets like a little, becomes a little bit more obvious when you get right-handed batters because their momentum goes toward third base. So it's obviously less efficient and effective for right-handers who kind of fall toward third base. You get a great angle of the swing bleeding into his sprint toward first. We get Nori Aoki. He hits this ball to center field, but you see here as the video gets slowed down, you see that momentum toward the pull side. So Taguchi pulling the home run here. Low finish with two hands, closed front foot. You see right there that front foot flying open due to uh, the lower body being closed off initially. Same thing here, Kaz Matsui. Two hand finish, low finish, leg kick, closed front foot that eventually gets forced open by the torque of the swing. Here we got Kasuke Fuka Dome. It's really obvious here. You can see, and it's, if, if I just saw a silhouette of Kasuke, I would know that that was a Japanese player. Munenori Kawasaki. Those swings look pretty much identical. Like <laughs> they're both wearing Cubs uniforms, so he actually he actually looks like Kasuke Fuka Dome in the swing. I don't want to be <laughs> racist or anything, but. 
we're going to get to some Korean players here who have pretty much the same characteristics. It's not as uniform in Korea, but they have similar characteristics to these Japanese players we're talking about. This is uh, my favorite swing from Jung Ho Kang. He's a right-hander. He doesn't finish with two hands, but you see his body ends up facing third base on this. I mean, that's crazy. That's 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 a, re a direct result of that front foot landing close before the lower body starts to rotate. That rotation then causes a rollover, and that rollover basically leads to you know that front foot flying open. G Man Choi, this is an opposite field home run for a lefty that he still he still bleeds into his sprint to first base on this, even on an opposite field. Like it, it seems. So, like something that might happen a little bit more obviously when a ball is pulled, but it becomes more obvious what's happening in the swing when it's an oppo, oppo bomb. Then you got Hyun Soo Kim. Pulls the ball here. This one doesn't leave the park, but you get the point. Shin Soo Shu. Two hand finish, not too high. Same thing here. He lands close, flies open. Throws over on that front side, leg kick. Now, his, if, it was, if I was just watching the silhouette, I wouldn't know necessarily, but he does have all the same characteristics of the Japanese swing. Just a little bit muted. We're going to finish with Seiya Suzuki, who will be coming to the major leagues this year, playing for the Chicago Cubs. All the same characteristics. He got the stance with the high... High hands out front, vertical bat, vertical stance, leg kick, lands closed foot, get a lot of momentum toward third base, and just just everything here, just everything, especially on this final swing you're going to see right here, just perfect way to end it, and that's it, thanks for watching.